Hey everyone, it's time to look at the capabilities of Codica for HTML5 development. I'm Victor Campos. So, last video I asked you to go to my delicious bookmarks, delicious.com slash vmcampos, where you can click on the Codica prototypes link. That takes you to the Codica editor where you can rapid prototype a mobile project. This is all HTML5 jQuery based. So watch this. I'm going to drag page header onto my editing environment and I've got a header and properties. Theme colors, for example, fixed mode, IDs and classes. If we look at the bottom right, inspect code, this looks familiar. This is HTML5 jQuery mobile code we've written before div data role page with an ID number, data role of header, data theme, h3, etc. And that will simply drag and drop. So we're going to use this tool to create our project. But let's explore these various widgets. So we've got a page header. I can drag a page footer. Page footers, properties. It's got a theme. This is this one says fixed mode yes. So that means that the footer will stay stuck to the bottom. If you notice, the header uh, element does not have a fixed mode. So I'll click yes for that one. If I want to change the text, I can click on the text and I get some properties. Pretty straightforward, and it's writing compliant code, which we will download a little bit later. Let's see what else do we have here. We can do nav bars. This is, we saw last time that it was a bit of effort to create a nav bar. Watch how easy it is here. I'll grab the widget, drag it into place. It's got one button so far. On the right side, I've got its properties and I can add a new button, add a new button, and now I've got three buttons up on my nav bar. I need a fourth one, no problem. Click it again, I've got four buttons. I want to style the buttons so I can select a button, change its text. It changes right away in my environment, my emulator. I can select is initially active, yes, which simply means that the button's already clicked, it's already highlighted. This link will not do anything for us at this point from the editor. That's why we'll need to download our code later. What sort of theme? That makes sense. Icon. We have a list of a variety of icons. Here's the edit icon, which is the pencil. What's the animation that happens when clicking on a button? You've got the list of them all here. You don't really see the result until you really preview it from Notepad. Even though we've got a build and versus test button at the top, test doesn't really do or test everything. I don't see my transitions, for example. Just be aware of that. Be also aware that perhaps when you change screens and come back, you could lose your work. This is a free tool, actually. Look at that, I lost my work. I switched to another screen and I lost my work. Well, as long as you know this, you should be okay because you could rapid prototype your, uh, your project and then download your code and, and keep working with it. So we had nav bars, footers and such. We can do buttons, pretty straightforward. Links, I don't really like the way links are done here, but you can add links. Images, again, I don't quite like the images that Kodika creates, but it's uh, it's easily editable. And if you don't want something, just uh, select it and click the Remove button, and it's gone. This is an interesting item. We have a map feature, but it's not dynamic. That is, you cannot uh, drag it and scroll around or zoom in and all of that cool stuff. It's just a one-time map. You can check the properties over here. What's my location? Well, we can do San Diego, California.
change those options and now we get a map of San Diego. Um, this is nice but it's not interactive and we'll be looking at another way to do this better later on in the class. We can do simple headings and then we get other cool options like these collapsible elements. Watch this. I'll add a collapsible, I'll add a few sections to it, and the way this works is, if I go to test, is that now I can add a bunch of content, a user clicks, and these open up. So think of it as a resume. You go to the education section or the experience section, like this. I'm going to select the first item. Select the first item and this can be job experience. The next item could be education references etc. So the way that it works is now when you test it a person could tap on each of those elements, open them up, and see more content. Once we download this we'll see how it works in uh, we'll see how to fully edit it in Notepad++. We've got a grid, which doesn't really look very impressive in the editor, but this is a way to divide up your screen. You can have multiple columns. Let's do three columns, four rows, and now I've got a grid set up so that in each of those boxes I can add anything I want. Pictures, uh, paragraphs, links, etc. List view is another nice item. Let me add a few buttons to this, a divider, a couple more buttons to show you how this looks. Basically, it's a list with dividers. So think about what content you could divide into chunks, and then people could interact with that content. And it can be done a couple of ways. The default is that you click a button, and then another screen displays more content so it's sort of going to swipe over, which is actually the default uh, transition. Link transition slide, so the screen will slide over. Again, uh, this we don't see if we test. If we tap, nothing really happens. But uh, we'll, may we'll be able to make it work when we download the code. And uh, we can set a variety of options, like uh, we've got inset set to yes, if you set it to no. The difference is that now it takes up the whole width of the, um, of the screen. Let me put that back, inset yes. Notice how it's got rounded edges and doesn't touch the, end, the edges of the screen. Inset no fills the whole screen. Then we've got a whole section of uh, form elements. Notice you can also uh, show and hide different things. So I'll click on form elements just so that it can show me all my form elements in one screen. So this will be cool to add a form to the project where I can add input text boxes, a search box, a submit button, select menu, You can just drag and drop it. Let me give myself some options here. If we test it, then it looks like a form. People could type stuff in there. Select from these drop downs. Do a search if it was set up properly, and then submit. That's getting a little ahead of ourselves, but we can create form elements here as well, like for contact forms or um, feedback forms, that sort of thing. So that's our quick overview of uh, the Codica editor. Then we would select at the top right, download HTML, and it would download our file as a zip file. Mine goes to my downloads 
to my downloads folder and it's a zip file inside the zip file is the whole project in a mobile website folder and inside of there we've got the HTML file and some JavaScript and CSS supporting files we'll look at that in the next in the next videos but now that we have this this uh, rapid prototyping tool Kodika we're able to quickly create a project the uh, the skeleton of it and then download it and continue to edit it in notepad and create a really cool project so come back on the next video to continue